I love Parazzi and I do believe they're uh, certainly the ultimate guns or one of the ultimate breed of guns currently available today. Um, but I don't think any gun out there is tweaked to perfection, not for a real serious shooter. And there are always a few little bits and pieces that you can do to make a gun shoot a little bit better. It's the shape of the stock, it's the length of the barrels, it's what we do to the top rib. Now my top ribs are special and unique. Nobody else actually uses the system that I do, uh, that I put onto a top rib to hopefully make it shoot better. Basically my ribs are reversed. So they actually are very slightly higher at the muzzle than they are at the breech. Which means that if you mount one of my guns in a conventional manner, in other words, your eye just very slightly above the, the rib, you will actually shoot approximately two foot low at 20 yards, which isn't very useful. So with one of my guns, you have to have a slightly higher head position to the tune of about four to six mil at the breech, which looks as if it's gonna shoot high. But because I've reversed it, it actually shoots exactly to point of aim. And so you might be asking, what's the point of this? It gives you a much better target vision. If, you're, if your eye isn't below the breech, then you see exactly the target more clearly and you see what you're doing as well. So I believe, and the results I'm getting uh, nationally and internationally say that I've got a winner. TSC is brought to you with support from Sabati Guns from Range Right. CCI Clays, Yield It's Guns, Ely Cartridges, Browning Guns, Bowman Traps, Breeden School, and Charles Stanley Wealth Management. I've always loved practice. I've shot practice for 40 years, 30, 35 years, and they're a great gun to work on. I love the trigger units on them. They're very easy to get the uh, special trigger pressures, and it's just a, a, um, an easier gun to make alterations on. The stocks are interchangeable very easily. So yes, it's a very flexible tool. And of course, it's beautifully made in, to start with. So we've got what we want right from the start. I will not sell one of my guns unless it's completely fitted. Um, and when they first arrive in the country after the initial uh, measurement that I take from a customer, they come in completely unfinished, the stock and fore end, in other words, stock and fore end in the white. The stocks I always have slightly oversized because I believe the only way you can get a proper fit for a shotgun is actually to shoot it, even if you've had it fitted uh, by a professional fitter. When that gun finally arrives, it's very unlikely to be spot on. So I then adjust the stock and any part of the gun that needs adjusting while my customers are uh, having what I call my second or third uh, fitting session until that gun is tweaked to perfection. And then it goes for final finishing to my gunsmith and oiling or whatever is, whatever is necessary. But I believe the only way to get a perfect fit is by shooting the gun and not just on a few cartridges. Most of my clients shoot at least a couple of hundred cartridges to get it, uh, to get it as right as they can on, at first try. I've always loved longer barrels and uh, there's many skeptics out there and of course we all have our uh, likes and dislikes but most of the longer barrels that came out that were available some sort of 10 or 15 years ago were just longer barrels off the shelf and yes most of them did actually feel a bit like a fence post but people pick my long barrels up and if I uh, jokingly, say, jokingly say to them, what length is this? And we are very often get, oh, it feels like a 30 or a 32. And when I tell them it's 34, um, it's quite a surprise. Now I'm not saying you should all have 34s, not at all. I love 34s and in my shooting capabilities nowadays, which uh, is not a world champions, championship style, but I still shoot my 34s much, much better than I do any other length. If a 34 is balanced correctly, it won't feel like a fence post, and it's very, very pointable. So 34s for me, again, do it, but all, all my practices are available from 30, I don't go below 30, but uh, from 30 to 34. 33, actually, is one of the lengths that I use repeatedly on certainly the DSR, my serious clay pigeon uh, version, and 33 is about the most popular, but 34, get it right, it's deadly. There's a lot of very good shooters who enjoy them and I get lots of fantastic comments. I just need to get it in the hands of somebody right at the top end, but uh, George obviously has his own ideas about guns and he shoots a Pratsy in any rate, so I don't think uh, uh, I will persuade him to try one of mine.
Yes, they're not the cheapest, of course they're not, but I'm, my prices are all in. Um, the DSR, uh, which as I say is the clay pigeon version, slightly biased to clay, starts at 10,250. Uh, 10, um, but I do a little, I'm doing a special offer this year of 9,750 because the price shot up a bit unreasonably from the factory. But yes, they are an expensive gun. And I suppose the starting price now is 9750 As I said, I will not sell a gun untried or unfitted, so you have to come to me somewhere or, or other. So you come down and try it, and uh, then we take the whole, whole, whole operation further from there.